Have you ever worked on a new scene with Octane, especially with HDRIs, and wonder why is my scene so bright? What? I don't get it. You then end up changing the color values of the HDRI, or light, to compensate for the brightness. But things doesn't look quite right. Oh man, this is horrible. So how do we fix this? Ugh. We need to fix this by making sure that Octane is managing the color. We need to turn off Blender's color management. It is important to understand that Blender is a spectral renderer. It handles color using wavelength calculation rather than cycles RGB calculations. Therefore, Blender's cycle color management will not work correctly with Octane. Let's go to Render's property. Then scroll down to color management. Here, we will change the following. Now we will make sure Octane Color Management is on. If you are using the Viewport Navigation Camera, hit the N key to open up the sidebar. Click the Octane tab and make sure the Octane Camera Imager is checked. Scroll down to the Tone Mapping and copy the following settings. If you're looking at a scene through a camera, you can find the same settings in the Camera Properties panel. Scroll down and use the same settings or change the response curve for a different look. You should take some time to play around with the response type. Octane provides a few options to imitate color negative film, which should provide a nice photo finish. If you prefer the tone mapping without the color shift, you can check the neutral response option. Since this is a beginner's tutorial, I won't get into the other option and I will end it here. But if you have any questions, please comment below. Also, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe.